you can see. We are really excited to present to you 50% off the most powerful telescope that we've ever done on HSN. It is from, of course, the name that needs no introduction, National Geographic. This is designed to show you the wonders of the universe. It's jam-packed with features, two interchangeable lenses, and a lot of excitement as you discover things that are out there. We have two colors, um, and these are like a carbon fiber look, you know, that carbon fiber feel that's so, so high-end. Uh, black, or there is silver. Mr. Aaron Berger is here, one of our electronic gurus. Aaron, you, two years ago, sold me on a telescope for my son. Not quite as powerful as this. No, we haven't had um, one this powerful. Never before. I have enjoyed doing that, learning to use it's it. cool, isn't him. it? We've spent a lot of good time together. I'm all in on the telescope. You know, I, I, I sell electronics, as you know, and uh, so I, not to knock all the other things that we do with our kids, but it's nice to get off screens yes. for a minute. You know what I mean? It's nice to have a, another activity. Activity. And as Adam said, it's summer. This is the time of year, temperature wise, that we can go out and there's a lot to see. So we're talking about seeing the moon. We're talking about seeing planets. We're talking about with this telescope, which is different than any I have ever offered. This is what's called a Newtonian telescope. Mm -hmm. Sir Isaac Newton might ring a bell, Fancy. fellow countryman of yours. Good. 1668 invented oh, the Newtonian telescope. Now. So anyway, in the past, we have had what are called refractor telescopes. This is a Newtonian reflector telescope. Here's what that means to you. <coughs> Pardon me. You can see more, you can see further, and you can see fainter objects. Okay. So the first thing to sort of point out, this is the aperture on it. This is a 114 millimeter aperture. Okay. That means more light gets in. Until today, the largest aperture you and I had ever sold together was 70 millimeters. So it was not quite half, right. as this is almost twice as powerful in terms of how much light it allows in so you can see objects better. That's what it comes down to. That's the first thing to point out. Okay. The next thing, the other sort of big thing to, to uh, note when you buy a telescope is what's called uh, the focal length. The focal length on this, which is directly relational to how much it magnifies, is 500 millimeters. Again, these are all much bigger numbers than we've seen in the past. So this is a more powerful telescope. In about 60 seconds, I'm going to show you some things that we actually caught with this telescope. But wow. before I do that, some pictures that we took. I'm going to show you how we took pictures. Um, this also comes with two lenses. These are called plossal lenses. Uh, this one magnifies about 19 times the, the other one. Actually, I'll grab the, the other guy here. This one magnifies about 51 times. Okay. We'll start with the magnifi with the, the um, less magnification, because it's easier to kind of uh, focus everything and, and um, to set your uh, red dot finder, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. You take your lens, you pick the lens that you want, it goes right in here, and this is where you actually look through yeah. to see what's going on in the universe, <laughs> literally to see what's going on in the universe. Here, this uh, very simply how you uh, focus it. So you, this is your focuser knob. It's, it's all very simple, but I want to point something out. I'm going to just grab this. I'm going to just point this out right here. You know this name? If there is one uh, sort of sentimental name, I think in a, a lot of our hearts, it's National Geographic. Sure. Um, you know, when I think back on watching National Geographic uh, specials with my family, back when television wasn't recorded, you couldn't stream anything that you want, how much we all learned from them. The name National Geographic is on this telescope because they partnered to make this easy and incredibly high quality. National Geographic is a name of today too. They have 258 million followers on Instagram. Wow. I, I just looked before I came out. Uh, you as many as you? So, no, that's right. I'm, I'm only two, well, you know how I'm good at math, so let me tell you how many, how many followers. I, I really botched up some math with Adam the other day on there. Let's do this. Can we, we've got a couple of videos to show you, but even actually, before we do the videos, uh, I wanna show you some pictures that we took. So I, I just started to say, this is, a, a phone mount, so you can grab your phone and you can pop your phone here and then you can actually take pictures of what you're seeing. And I wanna show you some pictures that we took. These are all captured with this telescope. Then I'm gonna let Adam update you guys. So these are a couple of phases of the moon. T by the way, tonight is, uh, many of you might have seen a big astronomical thing going on tonight, the parade of planets. Wow. You'll be able to see it just an hour or two before dawn through most of this hemisphere tomorrow morning. You see a couple of different phases of the moon there. Okay, this is wild. Check this out, next one out. Yeah, 
that's Saturn oh and it's ring, gosh. excuse me, Jupiter and, and, and rings. The rings around Jupiter, you're gonna see Mars and you're gonna see Jupiter. Uh, it is extraordinary, isn't it, that you're able to see that far and you're able to see that clearly. So we can see Jupiter, Saturn and the moons. I think I uh, messed that up there for a minute. So there's Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, I am an uh, <laughs> amateur astronomer uh, on my best day. It is something that I've really enjoyed learning about though in the past couple of years. The simplicity um, with which you're able to get your kids together, get your family together uh, on the right night, you know, when the weather's beautiful as we move into summer. And this is how easy my friend it is. I know you and Oliver have certainly enjoyed doing it. My little guy is uh, five years old, five and a half years old. And uh, we're just sort of getting to the point where I'm, I'm looking for more activities to do, more things to, to bond over. And this is a great way to do it. But you started by saying about getting off the screens. And that is so right. This is that real activity. And it's funny how, Yes, there's a lot of happy faces, but there's that curiosity. And what I found is that it sparks that curiosity. Doing things together is wonderful as a family. And obviously, we're talking about Dad and Father's Day. But for everybody involved, this will be a wonderful discovery. Look, for our show, we've got 50% off. This is a premium telescope, as Aaron has laid out all these different features. But this is down, as you can see, from $150 to $74.99. So we're 50% off the price while supplies last. The carbon fiber look, I think you can kind of make it out on TV, but it's a beautifully, beautifully built telescope. The design aesthetic is there. This is that black carbon fiber. That's going to be the first to sell out. Aaron's been uh, demonstrating with the silver carbon fiber as well. It's a nice look, huh? It, it, I mean, really gorgeous. As we said, you get a name like National Geographic and you're, you're going to have the highest quality. You're going to have the best uh, educational experience as well as just a, a high quality experience. You see, it's right there. Right there on the side, there's a name. Um, another really nice part about this, and then I actually want to take a look, believe it or not, uh, at those pictures one more time. Because I, I want you to have an idea of, of what you're able to see. You, you saw how faint in the sky. Yeah, let's, let's do this uh, really quickly, how faint in the sky these were. But again, because you have that larger aperture, the 114 millimeter aperture, you can see Jupiter and Saturn and the rings around Saturn and the moon. T take a look at this picture of Saturn is just wild to me. Isn't it extraordinary that in your backyard on the right night, the right night, by the way, is a light night without a lot of moonlight. Mm -hmm. So a dark night and you can see some of these deep sky things like you see the uh, Jupiter, Jupiter and Saturn and how they relate to each other in that picture. I just, I think it's uh, extraordinary. It's magical. One of the ways, one of the very important things about this is the way that you uh, are able to sight things. This is called a red light viewfinder. And Adam, we've seen this before. You and I have demonstrated this before. Right. It's a really important part. I wanna make sure it's turned on. Yeah, there we go. So the reason that uh, this is here mm. is when you look out into the, the expanse of the universe, it can be hard to know exactly sort of where you're pointing. Do I have this calibrated correctly, right? Because being off just a little bit is off a lot. Sure. So you use the, um, the red dot finder to calibrate, to make sure when you look through here, you're seeing the same thing as when you look through the lens mm. of your telescope. And there's directions um, on, on how to do it. It's very simple. You can actually move the red dot just a little bit by adjusting these screws. What I'm saying, kind of the reason I'm bringing this up is many people would be a little bit intimidated. Kind of where do I start? How do I start? National Geographic has made it so simple. The little, um, uh, instruction manual that comes, I don't know if I've ever read a full instruction manual in my life, mm -hmm. but I was actually so interested to read through it. Um, putting it together is incredibly simple. This talks about some of the things you can see, you know, from the Pleiades uh, to the moon, to the Andromeda galaxy, uh, to the Dumbbell Nebula. It's, it's really interesting and it is, um, something that I think you'll really enjoy doing with your family. I think there's a few things. I think, first of all, if you've never had a telescope, this is gonna be a wonderful discovery. If you are looking for the gift for somebody who's got everything, think about this. Yes, again, focusing on dad, but for anybody and everybody. Maybe it's your son or your daughter that would love this as well. Uh, the beauty is that we're gonna give you a premium high-end telescope for a very entry-level price. National Geographic is a name with uh, that credibility that we trust, the reputation that precedes it. We've never had one this fully featured, this high-end, this powerful at this price. It's $150 all day long. We're doing free shipping and handling, and if you order it today, 50% off the price. So all in all, 
it's something that maybe is a new hobby, a new pastime. Heck, with the summer vacation time here, Maybe the kids are already driving you wild and you're looking for something to introduce to them that they can, you know, take part in. This could be that thing. Only about 90 seconds remain, the black carbon fiber or the silver carbon fiber. As you look at this, everybody's journey starts somewhere. For Aaron, his journey started with all his re research <laughs> <laughs> on the Hubble telescope. <laughs> Oh, the Hubble telescope. You've been watching my presentation. So I did. I made a uh, PowerPoint presentation on the Hubble telescope that I have used to sell computers probably for 10 years now. And I'm not changing it because I know all about the Hubble telescope. And I, I, but it's it. obviously a topic that you <laughs> That I have learned a lot about. That's for sure. I was not born an astronomer or born into an astronomy family, though. I'll tell you this. One of the first memories I have, early memory I have, is my folks taking me to a planetarium and watching movies about the planets and those sort of things. And it, it's, as I said earlier, I was talking about National Geographic and kind of the nostalgia uh, that comes along with that. I, I, I feel the same way. We've been gazing at the stars as, as long as humans have been on the planet. We've been gazing at the stars. And um, this telescope is a more powerful way, still affordable, still incredibly simple to use, but a more powerful way than I have ever presented right. um, to, to do that, to gaze out into the universe. Well, the one I bought when we did it a couple years ago mm -hmm. is, a, is a great telescope. But it's it's not a refractor. Like this. It's not a reflector. Right. It's right. not a Newtonian reflector. It's a refractor telescope. So it doesn't have uh, the aperture, it doesn't right. let in as much light, it doesn't have the long focal length so for that magnification. And even the Plasso lens, are like I just put it on the more, more powerful, this is the 9 millimeter. This is yeah. a 51 time magnification lens. So you can start here and you can grow with this. That's a great way to say it. It's right? a great way to think about it. So that's the beauty of this. Thank you for all of your orders. The black will be the first to sell out. It is the only scheduled presentation. Free shipping and handling, 50% off the price. It's not something you regularly see on HSN. We're excited to have it in today, especially when we have such a crazy good value on it. Mr. Aaron Berger, thank you so much. It's always friend. fun with you. Thanks, Ads. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for shopping with Aaron and I. And don't forget to apply for the HSN credit card. If you get approved, you can save $20 off your first single item purchase. And that might be the telescope. It could be anything. Just give us a call on 1-800-695-1418 to find out more about it. Um, obviously, we'd love to have you on board. If you shop with us a lot, there's a lot of perks. There's a lot of benefits, certainly. Well, on the way next, it has arrived. It's officially here. I'm telling you now.